Next up, Paul, you and Madak or Blue Duck and Odix will uh, present the DebConf 18 bids. Uh, Paul, you, you're up next. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm Paul. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Paul from Taiwan, and today I'm here for the bid DebConf 18 for Taiwan. And let me introduce the question Taiwan. It's here. It's a small island. So let's look closer. So we are here, and we are not China, Korea, or Japan, or Hong Kong. Right. So it's, it's just around us. And Taipei is a modern, convenient, safe city. How convenient it is. So we say it is safe working outside even at midnight. It's that kind of safe. And convenience stores are mostly open 24 hours. So you can buy food or drinks anytime. And also many direct flights from, uh, from anywhere to Taipei, including this, uh, this Air Force. So what's good in Taiwan? Basically food, right? <laughs> and food, and more food. Yeah, because we present our culture by food. So when you eat the food, you can uh, sense our cultures. And what's also good in Taiwan? So for example, this is our tallest building in Taiwan, right? And the IT industry is very good in Taiwan. So you can see that we have our friend's company here. The Google and Canonical is also have office in the, in, in the Taipei 11 building. And also the local transportation is very high density. So you can go everywhere by just by the MRT, for example. Uh, the, you, you can use the easy card, it's a MIFAIR card, the wireless contactless card. So you can buy the card and take the bus or MRT or train to anywhere. And also the high speed railways, uh, you can just go to the south part of Taiwan, less than two hours. And the network is also very cheap. For example, for 15 US dollars for 10 days for unlimited usage. And also the free Wi-Fi is also have uh, good coverage in the city. But you know the Wi-Fi, you have to stay in a spot to use that. You cannot, it's not more mobile, so you, you have to stay in your, your place. And this is our, OK, I, I have saved time, so I, I just show some pictures of Taiwan. And all, all these places can be go from the MRT, so it's really near. And the city room and cable car, and you can drink some Chinese tea in just just taking the MRT in Taipei. And also, this is a, this is also a good place. And if you look into the pictures, you see along the roadside there's food stand everywhere. So that's why food is so, so good. See? Okay. So. If you have any questions, you can contact us in the, we have the IRC channel, and my name is Paul Liu, and also the seminar on the IRC. And you can also send me mails if you want to contact me. And we, are, we also have a good team on this, currently building the, uh, preparing the bid. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Were there any questions for Paul? Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for the universities in Taipei. So basically universities because of the price. Okay, and maybe a second question. Do you have any idea about dates? Which part of the year would you would Yeah, you yeah, we, we want to do that in June because in May it's humid and rainy, but in uh, July and August it's typhoon, so the strong, strong winds, so it's not good, <laughs> right? So the, the, the base, Best time is June. There's a, um, there's a wiki page in case you're interested in following more um, on Taipei. And uh, for instance, the venue option, the one that's currently being investigated, is here. And uh, we also answered the question about the potential dates down here. So if there are any, if you have interest, then please go on, onto the wiki and, uh, or develop questions from there. So what's it, what's it like to visa? Oh, uh, visas is 
almost like here, but man, many European countries and USA countries, the, the, the visa is waiver, so you don't need any visa. And yeah, just this here. And also the, okay, so, so also some Asian countries, we have uh, 30 days for the, without visa. Yes, that's it. I have a question about how many people are in the team? So I'll get to four committed. So I am I, 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 I trying to build a team more larger. Okay, thank okay. you. And now I, I'm standing up here, uh, not because you have to be afraid that I'll organize another DEF CON. But, oh. <laughs> mm. but because I'm not a, a member of the uh, DevConf committee, the BIT decision team, I, can, uh, I was approached by the uh, Prague people who can't be here um, to present their bid. So uh, even though Taipei would be the first DevConf in Asia, and as such, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for, uh, um, for coming forth with that idea. And we're just not going to make it as easy for you, so there's competition. Prague ran last year already, but uh, um, Montreal was selected, so they stood up again and uh, are doing it again. I'm not going to mention the EU joke on here. Um, so Prague, a lot of people have uh, been there. A lot of people have definitely heard about it. It's a very uh, beautiful city in the heart of Europe. It is the cradle of the first university, as far as I can tell. Um, it has a big international airport with connections, direct connections pretty much from anywhere else in the world. And uh, I, as I, I suspect, a lot of Deb Confers will uh, also travel there by train or bus because that by itself is already a, uh, an adventure. Um, there are venue options, multiple ones being looked at. Um, we had one for DEPCONF 17, and that needs to be renegotiated because the dean of the university changed, but that's always an opportunity as well, isn't it? Um, and then, of course, in terms of leisure options, what to do uh, when we're not working hard at the venue, then there's the historic city, many parks, the Prague Zoo, excellent public transport. And curiously, I don't know why Andre sent me these slides today. Last year, he specifically mentioned beer about 50 times during these five slides. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So there's no beer in there, yeah? Um, he, he has one picture, like, of Prague, you know, and then he has a picture, another one, and then he has a picture of the zoo, which is the fourth best zoo of the world. <laughs> but that's a great day trip option. So um, just imagine that you see beer here, and uh, I talked to Andre earlier on. Um, he's rounding up the team again. They uh, um, are prepared and committed to improve upon the bid that they have made last year, and so by... Uh, the bid deadline, we expect to have a very competitive su suggestion for DEPCONF 18 in the Czech Republic. And that concludes this presentation. Are there any questions that I hope I can answer or proxy? Will there be beer? <laughs> no, there's not going to be any beer. <laughs> help. <laughs> I can't answer that question, but I'm happy to relay it to the team. All right. Well, thank you very much, then. Uh, now, Didier would like your attention. In the microphone. Here. Um, I don't have any slides, but um, just a small reminder for all the teams um, that we would like to present something for DevConf 18 about what the process exactly is. So, uh, as you might have been a made aware by the pre previous DevConfs, the, um, you're supposed to build a team, uh, gather all the information you can, and prepare that, all of that on the DevConf wiki. You can uh, ask for a mailing list either on DEPCON for Debian infrastructure, if you need that to coordinate your work. And the deadline to get the bids is the 1st of December of this year. Um, and you're highly encouraged to um, join the, uh, the existing DEPCONF lists, DEPCONF team, um, at list.debconf.org. 
um, ask for assistance or feedback and or feedback on your bid and make sure your bid is actually really, really super good uh, the 1st of December. And then um, we will have some, inter some interactions with your team to uh, enhance your bid wherever possible. And then we will try, the DevConf committee will try to get the decision done around somewhere in February. So we will announce the, pre pre the precise schedule when we have it. But that's roughly the thing. So uh, to recap, get everything ready for 1st of December. Get involved, talk to people that have been organizing this DevConf, the next DevConf, get involved in Montreal uh, with the Montreal bid to see how they work. Uh, and if possible, be part of the local team next year. Um, and that's it. Are there any questions? All of that looks so simple when we say it like that, but... <laughs> No questions. It's How apparently. Much to Sorry. It's nice to organize DevConf. It is nice to get the DevConf organized. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, it's it's very, yeah, it's very cool to host the DevConf. It's energy consuming certainly, but it's really cool. So if you can organize one in your country. Uh, it's apparently time for penguins. <laughs>